So many worldwide are now speaking out about just what happened and the decision to shoot and kill Harambe. Nine on your side's John Genovese joins us live right now with what animal experts are saying about the situation. John? Well, Craig, there is no doubt people have strong feelings about what happened and how this decision was made. But now zoos across the country are standing with their colleagues here saying they would have done the same thing. For a young boy and a group of onlookers, they were 10 minutes of terror. The Cincinnati Zoo forced to make a decision. 17 year old Harambe, a rare silverback gorilla, was shot once and killed. That gorilla was disoriented. He was agitated. Ron McGill with the Miami Zoo says in this moment, facing the same circumstances, they would have done the same thing. You can watch the way he whipped that child through the water like a rag doll. You know, just the right. Whipping and child could hit his head against the concrete, it could have been over in a second. From Jane Goodall to Jack Hanna, fellow zookeepers and animal experts are sharing condolences and support. You have human life, you have animal life. No one loves humans and animals more than the Hanna family or the zoo world. And they made the right decision. That child's life was in danger. And people who question that or are Monday morning quarterbacks or second guessers don't understand that you can't take a risk with a silverback. Gorilla. Cincinnati Zoo Director Thane Maynard says the tranquilizer would have likely agitated Harambe and taken time to kick in. Time, no matter how or why a three year old wound up in the hands of a primate, they simply didn't have. Everybody at the zoo feels the loss. There's no doubt about it. Now, Maynard says they did try other non lethal options. He says there were three gorillas in that enclosure when the boy fell in. Keepers tried calling them all out, but Harambe did not respond. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side.